Hey guys, how you doing? It is mail call time. This is actually a trade deal that I did. I traded my Kinetic Agent Pacific Rose, the titanium rose anodized, for two unquiet hand spinners. I believe that it is, um, it, it, these are the um, addicts. I gotta remember to close the knife. That's very important, I've realized. Okay. Oh. I thought this was a bad deal for the person, but she was like super cool about it. I guess she's like a long time collector. You know, it's so funny. I think that I'm like so experienced. Uh oh, there's three things in here. Oh, it's a button. It's a button. Uh, I think it's so funny. I think that I'm so experienced, and then all of a sudden, you know, somebody comes along and they're like, "Hey, I've been here for four years, but they're like cool as shit." Why? Yes. see what kind of uh, bearing we're working with. Now, this is where I try to pretend like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just starting to get into buttons and bearings. I know it's very important in the spinner world. Oh, shit. These are heavy, these buttons. Retention. That's a retention bearing. I know that because it's got those little nod nodules there. It's not press fit. And this is... I don't even know what kind of bearing this is. It looks like it's like stainless steel or something. I don't even know. All right. But these buttons are legit. Oh God, this thing's heavy. God, I love it. Oh my gosh. Woo, it's beautiful. And look at this button. God, this thing is huge and heavy too. I didn't realize, but button, the button spinner game is like a big deal. Um, buttons can sometimes cost like $200. Okay. okay, so here is another of the same exact spinner, but in brass. And she's got this, I guess this is a glow in the dark. Freaking amazing. Okay, let's look under here. Another retention. Oh, this is a ceramic bearing. Ceramics, I think, are supposed to be louder. It's the hybrid? I don't know. I think the hybrids are ceramic and um, metal, right? Let's see how this one looks on there. Now again, I still don't know enough about spinners to like give this a review, but oh shit, yeah, I just dropped this for something. Okay, let's see how this thing looks on there. Is it a crime to mix metals like copper and... Ooh, this doesn't fit. What? Why? I've heard of them doing stuff like having shims. Why does this not fit though? Is it supposed to have some kind of a shim or something? Whoa. They're both retention bearings, so why would one fit on it and the other one not? Let's see if this one would fit on here. I mean, I'm not opposed to putting the other bearing on there. Uh, I'm not bearing, God. 
button. Okay, this fits. So is that other bearing just not for this? I'm sorry. Um, button. I I have to warn you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sick. I have uh, I've got COVID. Oh yeah. Um, so I don't really know what the fuck. No, this bearing, it just doesn't fit these. So she just threw in this, like, uh, random bearing, uh, button. God damn. Cool, thank you. I love it. This will fit some other stuff that I have. Cool. But yes, um, I am going to take this off. And I'll put it on the other one. I wonder, I've heard of things called shims. And I think that those are supposed to help you make a button fit. Look how big this button is. Shit. What is a shim? Can you somebody tell me what the hell that shit is? Oh, that's so beautiful. All right, I'm going to put this glow in the dark one back on here since it fits. Cool. Oh, yes. These are heavy as shit, and they're beautiful. So this was by Unquiet Hands. Um, and these are the Attic, I believe. Shit, sorry guys. Again, I know I'm not worthy of these. Wow, they're so beautiful. See, this is what I'm trying to do with my collection. I'm trying to collect old stuff that's like, it's literally pocket art that they don't make anymore. But let me tell you, videos like this, People who are watching like you are causing the um, the little niche industry to start to reignite. People are demanding these awesome spinners again, and the makers are now listening. Some people, some some of the makers are starting to come back. We can do it, folks. We can do it. God, these are amazing. Okay, I know my opinion on on spinners don't really matter, but these are amazing and they're gonna stay in my collection forever god they're heavy there's no hot spots meaning that your fingers i mean it's completely comfortable no matter where you touch it look at that well let's see if i can get a warpage oh let's see here oh look at that god there's my little ring light there i don't know if i can get a warp but I am going to start to um, experiment with different bearings. I know there's ones that are louder. There's ones that are softer, smoother, spin longer, don't spin as long. I actually learned this interesting tidbit that the louder the bearing usually means it's a, it's a, it's a poor quality bearing because it's like making a lot of feedback. But some people really like that. So I guess the sweet spot for those types of people is a bearing that makes a lot of noise but also spins a long time so it means if it spins a long time then it's a good quality spinner i mean bearing oh i think i might be able to get a warp on this one is this thing not fucking beautiful or what couldn't get it <sighs> wow but anyway so this is the unquiet hands attic i believe you cannot get these anymore um, but they're freaking awesome. God, they're so beautiful. They're like works of art. Tell me they're not works of art. Okay, anyway. Best trade ever. Best trade ever. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And uh, have a great day.